and welcome to another episode of Road Back to India. Um, every week I watch a Bollywood movie in order to learn uh, a little bit more Hindi language and also a little bit more about Indian culture because I'm going back to India probably beginning of October. If you don't know, I've already been to India and there's like a whole list of Indian travel vlogs. You can look it up in the playlist. So this week you have voted for Rang de Basanti. I didn't want to watch it because I know it's a sad ending, but you feel it is necessary to make me feel sad because there's a lot to learn for, uh, from this movie. So let's do this, I trust you. And in the end, if I'm really, really extremely sad, I won't trust you. And then we'll see what we'll do with next week. So without further ado, Rang de Basanti. Well, judging from the beginning, it has something to do with the decolonization of India by uh, the British, of course. So when the British left, Yay! Uh, some of you told me to first do my homework because there are some national heroes involved in this movie. Well, one, I'm not in school anymore, so I'd rather not do that. That's why I love to watch Bollywood movies, otherwise I would read history books. And two, um, other people have said just by watching the movie I can understand more about the heroes. So let's see if I understand it and if not, can you please explain to me because I'm not in school anymore and I'd rather not be in school anymore and do my homework. Loving the music already. Oh snap, this blonde chick is really good at Hindi. Hashtag goals, man. Hashtag goals. What is Vande Matram? Hello, Amit Khan. Wow, he looks very different here. <laughs> I don't know if he's younger. I think he's younger than... Ooh. He's getting it on with her. Ooh. Okay. Ah. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh my gosh. Poor mom. <laughs> okay, so she's making a movie about Indian heroes based on her grandfather's journal, I guess. So I guess this is a historical story. I can definitely see how this could have a sad ending. If Amir Khan dies, we really have a problem. I cannot watch that. You cannot do that to me. <laughs> this guy is so funny. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh snap, where is this? This is freaking gorgeous. Yes, coordinated dancing. I've missed this, man. I was getting worried it wouldn't be in this movie either, so awesome. Rangna Basanti means brings out color. I hear it in this song, so not sure. I'm this far with the historical story. The heroes, they loot a train with the Empire's money and they want to buy firearms with that money. Something like that. Let's continue watching. Also known as the Kakori robbery. I just learned. Why the hell are the British shooting random people? Indian people. Why? They butchered a thousand people? Why? Why? I don't understand. Where did this dude come from? Apparently she has a boyfriend, but I didn't register before. So they were revolutionaries. Uh-oh. It's not Sonia's husband who dies, right? Somebody dies, otherwise it's not a sad ending. I'm just trying to figure out who dies. So I can prepare myself mentally. They're actually having the same discussion as in Suarez. So, um, people complaining about the problems in India instead of trying to change it and the pro people are saying like it's your country too if you're not happy with things then stop complaining and try to make a change which I think is, is a very good message oh gosh no I really think Sonia's husband will die or her fiance no no I don't want it oh wow those guys they got caught only to be able to speak on trial even though they knew they were giving up their lives. That's crazy. Wow. Mad respect. Oh wow. They even denied food and got tortured for 114 days. Holy schmeckers. No! 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 Damn it! No! I don't like this. Her fiance died. No! This sucks. This sucks big time. And he probably died of corruption. Because the parts were not good in the airplane he was flying. Sucks, man. Sucks. 
Oh gosh, no! That's the other guy's father! <gasps> Crap! Oh wow! Oh my gosh! So they are actually the modern day heroes standing up to a corrupt government. And um, the history hero story is the, like the context or background. It's so sad, man. Okay, so this is pretty cool. This guy who actually hated the Muslim guy, he's actually helping him right now and saving him from police officers. Seriously, the mother-in-law too? Oh gosh, are they really doing this? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yep, they really did that. I don't know why they are doing this in the middle of the night. They actually told this guy nobody's listening to his show because it's the middle of the night. So they're basically doing the same thing as the historic heroes and they will get arrested, thrown in jail. I don't know if they will be killed for all for justice and fighting corruption. I understand. No! Why you let me watch these things, man? Why? Why? This sucks. Seriously? Are you for real? Are you for real? Are you seriously letting me watch this? He shot his own father? What are you letting me watch? I honestly do understand the message of this movie. I know about the corruption in India. I know it's pretty bad. I know it's really hard to change it. I know. But just like with the alcohol problem. No effing, no. I honestly do understand why this movie is important for you if you grew up in India and ever had to deal with corruption. Um, I, I didn't grow up in a country with corruption, so I honestly cannot say I understand it. The only thing I know is in Yugoslavia, where I'm from, I know my cousins had to pay to pass their exams, but like nothing of these proportions. Okay, I'm done. Amir Khan died. I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye.